Michael Comforto, Wilmer Flores, nice enough to join us for turning two. I love that you guys were former teammates, and I just kind of wanted to start there with the Mets, your first impressions of each other when you started playing together in 2015. Well, he can tell you because I was already there. And he came, he, and he, he you came were up. established. Yeah, well, oh. <laughs> I had like two years in the league. Yeah, um, you were like a grizzled and he, vet. Yeah, and he, he came up in, in 15, and um, I think he had a great year, right? 15? Yeah, yeah. it's a pretty good year. I, uh, I mean, I was wide-eyed. I was a rookie. I thought Flo had been there forever. Um, you know, <laughs> I, I, was, I, always, I looked at Flo like he was this, you know, old veteran guy. And, you know, we're, we're not that far apart in age, but he, he had been there for two years. But, yeah, I was just in there trying not to do anything wrong, trying to, you know, toe the line. And Flo would, Flo would like, he was a veteran to me. Um, so he would let me know, like, you know, how to do things. He was always cool with me. You know, he would he would tease every once in a while, but that's you know that's just what what baseball guys do. And, always, you know, he's always <laughs> you have to, right? That's he's all you fun. know. He made it fun, so yeah. you know, I, me and Flo got closer over the years, and um, you know, it was. I mean, the first impression was good, and we we went to the World Series that year. So, um, and Flo hit some some huge homers. No, you uh, hit two homers in the World Series. Everybody yeah, but on the, you got us game. there. You got us there. I didn't, they all I didn't rode on your back, Wilmer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the walk-offs, man. So right before we started this interview, they were chatting, and Michael says, remember when they used to confuse us? So there's, you guys don't see it. Maybe the fans will. So you got confused in New York for each other? Um, I think it was more so fans thinking I was Flo, because I don't think they knew who I was, really. <laughs> they knew Flo. But I do remember you coming in one time saying, you know, you're like, man, yeah. someone called me Fordo. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, it happened, it happened a couple of times. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. funny. I kind of see it. I can kind of see a resemblance. Uh, so. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's a compliment to each of you, for sure. Right. <laughs> Wilmer's won the hearts of the fan base in San Francisco. You're a Willie Mack Award winner. Uh, and Michael gets this opportunity to come out to the Giants. Did you guys chat? Before you decided, yeah, I'm doing this, did you check in with Wilmer and see uh, what he thought about the organization? He texted me congrats uh, when everything came down, but we, he, over Snapchat, you'd send me messages every once in a while. Yeah, we actually actually sent him a message uh, after he got signed. Okay. Um, I told him that, you know, that he was going to love it here. When we play each other, he'd always be at first. You know, most of the time. And I don't know, we didn't really talk about the Giants themselves, but, you know, just seeing him every once in a while. He'd like untuck my jersey, or you know, like he just mess with me. Um, so that's Flo. He's always. We always wonder always what happens at first base when you yeah. guys chat. So that's you take his jersey out just to mess with him. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about your your why and and why you did want to come to San Francisco. What allured you, and and was Wilmer being on the team part of that for you? I had always heard good things from from players uh, around the league about San Francisco. Uh, Joe Panic came over with the Mets in 2019, um, and he was happy to be with us. But he said he loved his time in, in San Francisco. Um, his wife got close with my then girlfriend um, and now wife, and they would talk a lot. Um, they were big wine lovers, and my wife's name's Cabernet, so she's, oh, she's wow. also a, a wine lover. Not because of that, but just she loves wine. It works. Uh, yeah, it, it works all works out. out. Yeah. You know, we just kind of had a connection. Um, it's on the West Coast. You know, I'm from Seattle, and, and it's close to my family. Yeah. Um, the team is obviously very competitive. You know, I watched them win 107 games uh, in 21, and and uh, every time I've come to Oracle Park, it's it's been an awesome atmosphere. So there's a really fun fact about you and how many – World Series you've actually won. You know where I'm going with this? Italy World Series? Oh, I think he might know. He might know. I mean, I heard it. You, 2015. So you heard. So you won a Little League World Series? A been in. Been in. Yeah. Okay, been in. I haven't in. won any yet, so we gotta, we gotta win one here. <laughs> I think that's, yeah. It's time. Yeah. So Michael has been in a Little League World Series, a College World Series, and the World Series. That's some um, Cool. It's a pretty good thing. What do you think your funnest fact is, Wilmer? My fun fact? Fun fact about you. I got one. Uh, yeah, so I, I hope this is right, but maybe the fans know this, maybe they don't, but uh, I think Wilmer learned how to speak English through watching Friends. 
Oh yeah. They do know that. We know, know that. Because yeah. you walk up to do you still walk up to yeah. the friend song? Yeah. Will that happen this year? You gonna yeah, stick with happening. it? It's yeah. worked. Yeah. Right? Don't change yeah. a good thing. Do you remember when I photoshopped your picture in with Jennifer Aniston? And you yes. were Ross? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, I did a show, and, and we always wrapped with, you got to tell us who your favorite giant is. And, like, you can't dodge this question. Do you remember me asking oh, you that, Wilmer? <laughs> I do remember. I would ask oh. these guys in this show. And they all said Wilmer. What is it about him Like that, that everybody is drawn to him? Wilmer's the same guy every single day. I mean, he's never, he's never going to mope around. He's never going to be down, you know, moping around he's he's gonna be the same guy um and he's a genuine guy i mean I, you know the the fans in new york loved him um because he just is who he is and uh you know i guess that that shows um whether it's in the clubhouse or, or on the field so. why do you think you're so easy going and you kind of you, know, you don't have a a lot of ups and downs you, and uh, you're really the same to the media all the time too which we love <laughs> thank I mean, you I mean, yeah, I try to be the same guy every day. It doesn't matter uh, if I'm going if I'm going good or bad, because um, uh, I know things are gonna turn th things are gonna turn around. What, like whatever you're doing, uh, if I had a bad game, I know I'm gonna have a good one next day. So um, <clears throat> I just I just try to keep my calm every time. All right, for both of you, the hardest part about coming to a new team. You know, Wilmer's been here a while now, but I'm sure you remember that first day walking in, and even though you've got experience under your belt, you're still a new guy, and there's expectations. And Michael, for you, on top of that, you're coming off of an injury. So we'll just start with you. Like, w what are the difficult parts, the kind of the human side that we don't get to really see of that transition? I will say, I mean, just like simple things, like not knowing everybody's name. Um, and there's a lot of staff here. There's so many players here. Um, and, you know, I mean, I was with the Mets for six years. I, I knew everybody. So just a little familiarity. Um, you're a little bit more comfortable when you know, you know, how everything's going and how everything's supposed to go, where to go in the facility. I mean, it's a new city to live in and a new route to the ballpark. And about finding housing. And finding housing. I'm still working on that. So, um, you know, it's just uh, it's a lot of new stuff. It's not always bad. Um, you know, it's just an adjustment you got to make. So um, it can be stressful, I guess, too, yeah. to a degree when you're trying to take care of these things for your wife and, you know, how that can be a hard part. Yeah, for sure. What, so. what do you remember being difficult uh, about the well, change uh, of teams? Yeah, first time when I was a free agent, I signed with the D-backs and um, going to another team. It's uh, yeah, Michael said it, it's an adjustment. You're still going to play baseball, but uh, new faces, new guys that you, you have played against it against. But um, it's still the same baseball. You feel like you go on the uh, first day of school. Uh, the to <laughs> toughest part is learning everybody's name. That's yeah. the toughest part. Um, but, you know, as the dates goes, you know, uh, you feel more comfortable and then you're still loving it. Another reason so many baseball fans, not just Giants or Mets or D-back fans, love you, Wilmer, is because of that day that you heard you were getting traded and it didn't happen and you were able to show so much emotion on the field in uh, were you up with the team at that point? Yeah. What do you remember about that? It's, it, it was really an emotional moment to watch you go through that and see how much you cared about where you yeah. might be going and that it was hard for you to possibly have to leave. What, what do you remember about that? I think I was in left field and I remember hearing kind of like, a, I don't think there was a ton of fans at the game um, and just kind of hearing people start to chatter a little bit like behind me in the outfield didn't think much of it you know it was right near the deadline the trade deadline so our manager terry was on the phone with the press box they were saying you know wilmer needed to come out of the game but he wasn't you know he didn't get confirmation or something i don't i don't remember exactly how it went down but it was just a really weird thing for the news to break like that you know and, and just blindside wilmer and, and the rest of the team um it's just a really really bizarre thing so I mean, that was my, my experience, and I'm, I'm a rookie in the league. I, I'm like, what in the heck is going on? <laughs> like, you know, um, so I can't imagine what it would have been like for, for Wilmer. Yeah. Did you just feel overwhelmed with emotion at that point? Uh, yeah, I remember I was at short, 
I was playing short, and thank God I didn't get a ground ball because I for three innings. And <laughs> be able to see it. Because I wasn't <laughs> like mentally, I wasn't there. I was just thinking, um, you know, I was just hearing fans um, saying we'll miss you, uh, that I got traded, but like no one from the dugout tells me anything. Terry didn't know in the eighth inning, and he comes out and tells me, hey, look, I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to take you out of the game. But he really didn't know what's going on. Obviously, I got emotional, you know. Um, it was the only team I knew. Uh, I didn't know the business part of the game. Uh, and uh, I think it, it's uh, fans want to know that you care, I think. And uh, that was, that was, you know, the real embracement with that. Wilmer, what advice can you give to Michael about San Francisco? Like, are there any restaurants that he should make sure he goes to eat or areas he should live or places um, not to go? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't go out a lot. Um, I do know a couple spots. I don't, I don't know you like restaurant? sushi, steak. Sushi? Sushi. Yeah. Um, my girlfriend knows a lot of, a lot of sushi spots. Uh, I'm not a sushi guy. Um, I'm not a sushi person. No. no. Um, I know a couple uh, steakhouses. Alexander is one of my favorites. Okay. Yeah. Do you want me to take notes for you? I mean, sushi, steak, whatever. I'm, It'll I'm work. good with whatever, yeah. yeah. It'll work. Uh, what would be your suggestion on an off day in San Francisco? What should Michael go do? Oof. Or these things that you haven't done either, Wilmer. We need to get you I out a little bit more. I haven't done much. I think I did everything when uh, when I came as a visitor, honestly, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure he's done it. They too. always they always have a trip to Alcatraz and um, a sightseeing trip. Like if we have a an off day. So you've done a lot of stuff in San Francisco. I actually already. didn't. I didn't go to Alcatraz. I, you know, yeah. Um, Put in the cell. And I haven't done a ton. Uh, you know, I've I've walked around downtown a little bit. Um, we used to stay kind of close to the mall. Um, Sounds like you guys are going to really rip it up in San Francisco, I have to say. Yeah, maybe <laughs> we'll... Real excited maybe I'll, yeah, right maybe I'll get, get Flo out and... I'll we'll take go you shopping. shopping. Yeah, you can oh, take you me like shopping. Oh, you like to shop? Of course. That's all I've done. Did you always know that about him, how much he likes clothes? I mean, he's always got, you know, nice nice clothes. You know, he's pretty well-dressed. Like <laughs> he likes to shop. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to hang out with you. <laughs> I'm going to take you to some places. <laughs> guys, thanks so much for taking the time. Appreciate it, and I'll see you soon. All right. Alrighty.